Active Campaign Automation Duplicates. In this video, we're going to talk about how to remove and how to prevent people from being in the same automation multiple times at the same time. Now, people can go through an automation multiple times. That's easy. But what you want to prevent is them being in that automation multiple times at the same time. And I'll be honest, there's no easy way to identify duplicate emails. So let's dive right in. So inside your active campaign account, you have, might have an automation that looks like this. They can be added either manually or through one of many different ways. And the danger here is that somebody comes in one path, they come in another path, they come in another path. There's nothing to prevent them from that happening. In addition to that, you can have them come in once like that, or you can have them come in multiple times like that, and they end up being in here and you only want one occurrence. And here's how I can see that this is the case. So if I look at the queue here, it says that there's two people. However, when I go view that contact, those contacts, there's actually only one unique person there. And what we need to do is we need to remove that duplicate and put back in the original. Now, there's some downsides to what I'm gonna show you here. For instance, if this person here has been waiting for 22 out of 24 hours and you put them back in here, they're gonna start again at one day wait. They're not gonna start at 22 hours into a one day wait. So there is some downside there. Additionally, what I'm showing you here is very simple. This is just two simple waits, but what if you have different if else legs and there's multiple locations that they can wait? It does become cumbersome. But what I'm gonna show you here is how you can remove the people and put them right back in where they're at, but only a single version. So to start with, what we need to do is we need to tag this person. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna apply a tag and I like to use a tag called panic for situations like this. So I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna enter the panic tag and that's taken care of. I'm gonna go into and I need to go back into the automation and I'm gonna put a goal here that pulls them out and I'm just gonna call it panic. Now this might take a few minutes, even though it's instantly being added there, there could be a little bit of a lag. So we're gonna sit here, let them pass through, save that. So these people have the panic tag, or I should say this person has the panic tag and should be pulled down to here shortly and finish. I'm gonna refresh this screen and it's probably gonna take a few minutes. Okay, that took about five minutes for those people to get moved out. Now. Here's the trick, if you will. So they're out there, but we need to add them back. And I don't want to change their tag and they both, but now it's just one, has the panic, or panic tag. So I'm gonna take this goal and move it right up above where I want them to be. So I'm gonna move that, okay. And the point, the purpose of that was to simply originally to get them out. Now when they come back in, sorry, just one person, they're gonna get dropped into here and then back down to this one day wait. So I wanna go find that contact and I'm looking for the person that has the panic tag. There it is. I'm gonna go ahead and add them to that automation they were in before and apply. So now back to here, if I refresh this, this person should be at this one day wait. There, perfect. Now, if I had additional weights or steps that I'd have to move through, I'd repeat this process over and over. And actually, one last thing. I now need to remove that panic tag. So that person's done. Okay, now, how do you prevent this from happening? Since I don't need this, I'm gonna get rid of it. What you need to do as soon as somebody comes in here, whether they've come in down any of these paths, um, is to have an if-else check. So I wanna do something like this. And again, I'm gonna use a tag. So do they have a tag or not? And let me just see, I'm gonna do, uh, let's use this temp D tag. This is kind of a temporary tag, if you will. And it's not one of the tags that triggered them to get into the automation. It's simply a tag that identifies them. Are they already in here? And actually, you know what I wanna do? I wanna say does not exist. So if it doesn't exist, then you can go down the yes path. 
But if it does exist, that means they're already in there and you don't want to add them in there. So I'm going to put them down the no path. So I'm going to put them down the no path if they don't have that tag and I'm going to end the automation. Now, if they don't have the tag, the first thing I want to do is actually add the tag. So this way, anytime they come in, doesn't matter how, manually or whatever trigger, um, we're going to check, are they already in this automation? If they are, end it for that version of them. Otherwise, put them down the path that you want them to. And then last but not least, I would suggest removing that tag, unless you truly only want them to come in here once. So down here, I would actually remove the tag. And there you go. So we've got an automation that does not allow duplicate emails in at the same time. And if they do come in, we simply remove that extra email from the automation. And then we removed the tag that prevented them from coming in. So they could, if you wanted, be added back in. So that's how we handle automation duplicates.